Okay, so we want to get the second longest string in the string array, and then I have more about the method in the summary here, and it says that we need to accept a string array, and that means we're passing in the string array, and it also says what we're returning. Return a string representing the second longest string. And then I can write more about the method in the bottom of the summary, and I say that use params to accept different sets of strings. Okay, so um, here's the pseudo for the method. And I'm just defining the method here in the method name. The method name will be get second longest string and it says accepts strings. Those are my parameters. And then I am declaring and setting um, these variables here. And the first one is the longest string and the second longest string. The first thing that we're going to do in the method is get the longest string. So get longest string. This right here, since there's no capitals, it just uh, indicates what we'll what we will be doing below, and it's not actually an operation ex itself. Okay, so after that, I'm saying for each string in string array, um, we want to check to see if the iterated string is longer than the longest string. If it is, then set longest string as iterated string. I'm using the word iterated st string to represent the strings that are the um, strings that we are iterating through in the for loop. Uh, you can use whatever is your preference. Okay, so that here gets the longest string and sets it. And then below we're going to actually get the longest string, or the second longest string, sorry. So get second longest string. Uh, for each string in string array, if iterated string is longer than the second longest string, which will be set to empty, then we want to check to see if the string is not equal to the longest string as well, because we don't want the longest string to actually be a string that is returned, right? And um, if it's not true, then set longest string as iterated string. And then we will return the second longest string. And then I'm explicitly ending the method. Right now, I only explicitly end methods and classes. I don't feel it's necessary to explicitly end for each loops and if statements because that is just a bit counterproductive and the uh, block level clearly indicates where, uh, where the smaller structures are ended. Really, it's a personal preference. So let's translate this pseudocode into an actual method. Okay, starting from the top, I'm going to define the method name. And we are returning a string, of course. And it's going to be called get second longest string. And we will be accepting different sets of strings, so I'm going to use params. And string array. Call it string array. Okay, so I have my signature defined. Let's define the variables that are declared in the pseudocode. So, first one is string, longest string. And we're going to set it as empty. We're going to use the string empty property. And I'm just going to copy this. Okay, so the next thing that we need to do is get the longest string. So we're going to use a for each loop. So for each string s in um, the string array down the pseudocode it says if iterated string is longer than longest string then set longest string as iterated string so if 
iterated string, so s is dot length, I think, yeah, is longer than, so is greater than uh, longest string, and we will set longest string as iterated string. So longest string is equal to s. So we've gotten our longest string here. I just have to add length there. Next we need to actually finish off the method. So get second longest string. And we are going to use another for each loop. It's going to be pretty similar. And it's instead of using longest string, we're going to say second longest string. And we're going to also check to see if the string is uh, the same as the first longest string, the actual longest string, because we don't want that to be our actually yielded string. So is longest is equal to is equal to s dot length is or just s is equal to um, longest string and that says if it is actually the longest string and we're just going to add that check in with our if statement is longest and it should be not is longest and longest second longest string is equal to s and finally we need to return second longest and here's the actual longest string okay so it should yield this uh, first string here and we will actually set that as the text property of the form and it has worked very good